Hey guys, it's Rosa. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I decided that I am going to do some swatches today of different makeups I got. I had mentioned in my last makeup video that I was going to um, do some swatches on the Androgyny palette and the liquid, the Velour Liquid Lips that I got along with, I forgot that I also got some um, lip ammunitions as well from Jeffree Star. So I will review that and then also I got the Tati Beauty Palette. I have tried it before and I liked it, um, but I obviously haven't done swatches on it yet and I've been dying to do them. So I'm gonna do some fun swatches. I'm gonna start with Tati first. Anyway, I was so excited. I was so, so excited that Tati came out with her own palette. I think it's honestly, amazing i really do like because there are sometimes like i love the jeffree star ones and i love like i love those but and i love bright colors i'm just not confident enough yet to do bold colors um only because i'm still new at this but i love her texture neutrals you can't i already kind of dug into a couple of them but i love these they are just so beautiful i love they have I love the names that she has, how it's like memory and like ritual, story, soothe, aura, and poet. I just love all of like the stories. As you can tell, I got into a little bit of this one on the poet. And I really like them because it, it says them on the side. Not the names of the shades, but just the, well, I think maybe all of those are the names of the shades. See, I'm still like... I'm new guys okay so but I love how they have a matte a sequin a metallic and then the glitter like I love that it's all laid out and it's pretty much just like here's this one and all these different formulas I love it um so I don't think I really want to do a swatch of all of these so which means I get to take off my Apple watch so you get to see all of the lovely swatches um if you're wondering what I'm using for my makeup wipes I have been using the Rodin and Fields Essential Instant Maker Remover Wipes. These are honestly my favorite. They are really, really moist and they, like, I could probably use one towelette for all of my eye makeup. Actually, I have. Um, as I normally just use eye makeup, so that's all I really do. Also, I have another few things. So you see this mirror, but then I also have this amazing impressions mirror. Um, I'll show you. It's gonna be really bright, so sorry. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it. Um, I've been using this a little bit. I mainly use, um, sorry, if you hear sounds in the background, I am legit watching um, Hunchback of Notre Dame because I got Disney Plus because I am such a 90s kid and I love all of the out of the vault movies. So we're gonna first go in with the memory and we're gonna just go down the line and I'll show, I really am excited to swatch these. So let's go with, I like how I'm doing the dark ones first. Okay. That's nice. Ooh, that, that's really, that's really soft. I like that one. Now with the sequin, ooh, metallic, oh my goodness. No, that one's good. Okay, obviously the glitter one, like you pretty much have to kind of press on. So let me get a makeup wipe. Because these are all very, they're very, they're pigmented. Um, I'm not gonna say, I mean, in comparison, honestly, to um, a Jeffree Star product, because that's that and like Morphe brands are the only other ones that I've used. They're not like it's not as pigmented. So these are the black, these are the sorry. Oh my gosh, how is it that bad? Maybe I'm gonna have to take pictures of these. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to take pictures. So I will insert a swatch of the memories right here. And I really did like them. They went on smoothly. Um, I definitely said I have only really used the, um, like a tot, like not Tati, but like the Jeffree Star formulas and, um, the, 
like Morphe formulas and the glitter is nice but I feel like even I put my finger in too hard and it went it like looks like it scoops out like let me show you like right there it look, I barely really put my finger in it and it looks like I just like scooped a ton out um, not intentional so I guess I have to have a lighter touch and I'm going in with um, the line of ritual so we'll start with the matte on top like we did for the others then the sequin I like them I never thought I'd ever use like browns really okay so I had to go in twice um, with the metallic of Ritual. Not that that's bad, but okay, I'm light touch. <laughs> I'm to remind myself. Okay. So those swatched a little better. I do like, um, I actually like that metallic brown. I will show you. Um, that's in Ritual. And it's really, it's a really nice one. It's just like, it's, I don't know. It's not like, I don't, I never have seen myself doing browns. So I'll insert my swatch of the line of ritual here. So now I'll go in with story. So I'll go in with this line of story. I do like that she's coming out with a neutral, like a textured neutrals. I really wonder if her next one is going to be like more bright colors, but I don't know. So I'm going in again. Matte always goes on the top. Then the sequin, hmm. then the metallic, ooh, okay. And last but not least, the glitter, okay. Um, so I do, so I like the swatches of the Story sequin, metallic, and glitter. Um, the, the matte definitely kinda You'll see in the swatch. The matte on top was maybe not like the prettiest swatch. Cause sometimes like you, you've seen the Jeffries, they just glide on smooth. This one was not as smooth as I would have hoped. Oh my goodness. My arm's gonna look insane with all these crazy swatches. Um, it's not as, it wasn't honestly, as pretty as I had hoped like I mean it was it's pretty on the palette on my skin not so much and that's okay because not every like there are some colors like when I did the lip swatches um in one of my makeup videos with my friend Ashley we did Jeffrey Jeffrey stars like the blue blood um mini lip bundle like clearly those were not my colors and I was okay with that but sometimes some browns and stuff like work, but that matte and story did not work um, for me. But I mean, who knows? Maybe it's different on my eye. Maybe just the swatch was weird. I'm gonna go in with the line of Soothe. I am really excited for this one. I mean, they all look really pretty, but this is the one we're gonna go in now. Soothe. Okay. I always try to do matte first because that's a little easier. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. The matte, that was a definitely a lighter brown, and that is, I hope, build. I think that's buildable. Oh, that my that sequin is really pretty. Um and then let's go in with oh this metallic. Oh yeah, I knew I was gonna like this metallic. I saw it and I was instantly like, yep, that's gonna fit. That's gonna be great on me. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I am extremely just like, <sighs> the mattes might not be my thing um, in this palette. Um, so yeah, this one, yeah, the matte on this one, on Soothe, maybe it was just too close to almost my skin tone. It didn't really, I honestly think it be, might be like a good base. Or maybe not. I mean, I don't know. It's maybe a little too dark for a base, but it's still a very pretty color. I think if someone with lighter skin was to use it, I think they would really like it. Um, it's definitely a little too matchy for my skin to use. All right. So now we're going to go in with Aura, 
which this line is really cute. So I actually watched Tati's video on this and she used this bottom mat as like a base. And actually, I think I did use that as a base and it was really cute. Um, but no, I'm excited. I do love the glitter. Like I love it. I think it's going to be great to add on top of holiday looks. I honestly think it's going to be fan freaking tastic. So let's go in with obviously matte first for Aura. See, I like this one. Yeah, that's a good base. That that would be a really good base. These swatched actually all really well. Like even that glitter looks really cute from the Aura line. So, I mean, you can kind of barely see that matte on me um, as I'm taking a picture of my swatch, sorry. So yeah, you can barely see the matte on me, so I honestly think that'd be an awesome like base shade if you were using this palette. I think it might be able to blend with any palette, but I definitely recommend that as a base shade. I love the sequins. I really like that metallic. The glitter is good. It's definitely more flex of color than just like, I mean, they're all good flex of color, but no, I really like that one. My whole arm is so glittery right now. <laughs> I'm going to have to use my other arm for when I do the androgyny palette. <laughs> so now I'm going in with the last one of po for Poet, which I love. I mean, I'll be honest. I do love like this ends from Soothe to Poet. I think those I would probably use the most. Um, Ritual, I don't, I'm going to have to learn how to do a smoky eye. I definitely can do it with other colors. I've never done it with the black. So I probably should learn how to do that. Okay, that's my next thing. Learn how to do smoky eye and not F it up. All right, um, so let's go in with the Poet. Ooh, I like that. Let's see. That was so freaking smooth, guys. Like, the others kind of get PC, but this one, ooh, that was good. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the sequin, I had to do another line. Oh, that looks weird. Okay. The sequin, I needed to, you know, dip my finger a second time. Let's look at the metallic. I already know I like the metallic because I've used this metallic already. Um, ooh, ooh, that's like butter. That one, that one, that, I mean, I feel like most of them are pretty, like, feel smooth, but that metallic in the Poet, feels like freaking butter. Ooh, and now we go with our glitter. Got a little more. See, those are all really, really pretty. Um, so I will insert the swatch of my line of Poet here. I am really happy that I was able to get this. I actually, um, when I ordered this one, I got it at launch. So she launched and I was actually on my lunch break um, from work and I was at home and I was actually able to get it. Like I was very happy. I was very, very happy that I got the Tati one because I was like, I have watched Tati for a couple, of, like a year. Like, okay, so I didn't really start getting into makeup until I saw the Shane and Jeffrey first one. Or like, I did, I was watching some videos, but like I never really got into it because I was just like, I don't know, like, you know, makeup costs so much nowadays, and it does, and I was lucky because I was able to invest in a few of these awesome palettes, like, um, and the Velour Liquid Lips, I'm very excited to try. But anyways, I was, so with the Tati launch, I was able to get this guy at launch um, that day. It did take, like, I mean, it felt honestly like three weeks, but it wasn't. It was probably, it was honestly 10 business days to get my palette, and that's fine. Um, it was totally fine. I have no issues with that. It just felt like it was forever, <laughs> and I was so confused. But no, um, this came, it was perfect. I didn't have any cracked palettes. Um, I didn't know if that was really a thing. I didn't notice anything cracked, nothing. This was all perfect. Um, I was very excited to get it. I still actually put, this plastic thing in there because I just want to protect those um, but now I will definitely include this uh, this will also be coming with me when I go to when I go for Christmas so I'm really excited about that and now we get into some Jeffree Star stuff 
I'm very excited for this. Um, so I have the Androgyny palette that I also got when I um, got the Mini Controversy palette. And I got some Velour Liquid Lips way before the launch. Like I just was like, you know, I've been wanting some liquid lips. Let's add some. So I got some liquid lips right here. And I also got some Velour, I mean not Velour, so Velour Liquid Lips Lip Ammunition. And I'm really excited to swatch these. And if you're wondering how I prepare to swatch my lips, which I know none of you really are, but I'm just gonna tell you anyway. Um, I use, this is one of my favorite purchases that I have bought from him, is it's a Velour liquid, it's a Velour lip scrub, as you can see the reflection in my camera. And it is Velour lip scrub in the watermelon gum. This one is honestly, ah, and yeah, I love this guy. Like it really preps my lips. So I put it on, scrub it, and then I wipe it off with like a warm washcloth. Then I top with this guy. It's the Blistex Super Fruit Soother. Like I really like this guy. Um, not sponsored, I wish. But anyway, let's get into some swatches. So I'm gonna try to do them alphabetically. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the liquid velour liquid lips first and this one is the shade 818 um i'm guessing is that the california area code now i'm googling because i want to know san fernando valley of los angeles okay so i'm guessing it's okay yeah it's an area code the rosa so i have seen many people um when they do velour liquid lips where they do a liquid lip, they like line and then go around. I um, have never done that. <laughs> this is shade 818. It is a very like, it's a very pink, very light pink shade. So I'm gonna turn off that guy. This is the shade, sorry for my, for my zits. This is the shade 818. I do like it, I mean I definitely, I don't know if this is a color I would wear on a daily basis, but I do like it. Maybe in the summer, I don't know. But I do like it, uh, sorry, I know this side looks busted the house. Um, I've been watching a lot of Rick's Lux, you guys. Rich Lux and Jeffree Star and some Dustin Daily, like, I'm loving them drama channels and I'm loving the makeup channels, man. You know, it's so fun. <laughs> Anyways, so this is shade 818. I do like it. It's definitely not one that I ever thought would, I was wondering how it would look on my skin. And it does look good. I mean, it's definitely not one. I mean, you guys tell me, like, be like, Rosa, it's busted, does not look good. That's okay, you can tell me, I'm not offended. So the next one I'm gonna go in with is Christmas Cookie. Um, I saw this on uh, one of the nude palettes, or one of like the mini lip bundle nudes. And this guy is really, really cute. So this is the Jeffree Star Christmas Cookie. Um, it's a nude, it's one of the nudes that he featured on his, I think it was one of his mini nude lip bundles. So let's see. I'm gonna remember to go with this end to, to line it. It is a very neutral nude. Like you can barely, like when I look in the mirror, like I barely see it. I didn't know how it would look on me. I really like that nude and it is very, I think it's very wearable. Um, so yeah, I'm so, oh, love it. Happy to have this in my arsenal. Maybe I'll also add this guy to in my, uh, my trip home bag, make it bag, when I go back to Idaho. I never thought I'd be doing like lip swatches on a Saturday, but it's so nice out. Well, I mean, it's decent out. Um, I actually have natural light that I can use, so I'm using that, and then I think I might go for a walk later, because it's really nice out. And I did just get cleared since I tore my fascia a couple months ago. Um, I was cleared to finally do up to 20 minutes of walking, which, it's so hard to come from running a half marathon to barely being able to walk, being able to walk 20 minutes max. Like that, it's so defeating, but 
It also gives me time to make myself healthier and come back strong for my next half marathon, which I'm gonna sign up for soon. So, moving on to our next shade. Oh my, you guys. I have never worn a red in my life. Oh, my dry skin on my lips, oh. Bust the house. No, I love, oof, I love the metallic. Our next one is Red Rum. Now this one also is another red. This is like a matte red. Woo! Dang. I kind of feel bad. I'm like watching, like don't get me wrong, like I love Esmeralda and Phoebus. Um, I love that little like romance, but I kind of feel bad because I feel like Quasi gets friend zoned, which I hate using that term. But you can see how much he's like in love with Esmeralda. But she's like, I care about this guy. I'm sorry. Like, so I've watched so much Rich Lux that now I'm like starting to say Bust of the House. Like, I say it in almost like daily conversation. I almost do. I stop myself because I realize people are going to be like, What are you even talking about? So I'm like, Never mind. So I have another iconic red lip. So the last liquid lip, um, the lower liquid lip that I'm trying is Romeo. Um, I feel like I was like, when I was looking at these, it's, yeah, it's also pink. It's kind of reminds me of, not Christmas cookie, red rum, poinsettia. Kind of reminds me of 818 a little bit, like, but that's more of a peach. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's, let's shake this guy up. So this is Romeo. I really do like the shade. It's cute. So I just finished watching all of my velour liquid lips tonight, the new ones I got. So I will include a picture of all of them here with their label with their names. So, my next ones are only, there are two liquid, they're sorry, not liquid, they're two lip ammunitions. This one is brown sugar, which I think is from the Jawbreaker collection. Um, yeah, it is from, I can tell because of this. And I believe, I don't think I have this one. The only lip ammunitions I have are Candy Freeze and Glaze from the, uh, Jawbreaker collection. So here is brown sugar, and then I also have androgyny. So I think this one also was a liquid lip, but I really wanted to try the lip ammunition. We're gonna go in with the lip ammunition brown sugar. I love the little bullet case looking thing, and I love that it's green. And then it is this color. Like, oh my gosh, I think it's gonna look amazing. Obviously shimmery, because it's the Jawbreaker collection. Ooh. It's very bronze. It kind of reminds me of the glazed, but this is a little bit more bronzy. So this is definitely gonna go in my arsenal for the holidays, because I think it's super duper cute. And now we're going in with Androgyny in lip ammunition and I love that this one is pink. I like how Jeffrey has the different colors for each one of his collections. I think that's amazing. And then in here, this is the color that we got. I think this is gonna be a really interesting color on my lips. It's gonna be very deep on me. That's okay. That's, let's check it out. Sanctuary! Sorry, I couldn't help it. He's doing it, so I had to do it. So, I'm here, I'm back. As you can tell, the quality's a little different. I am on my phone instead of the, um, my camera, because it died. Just pulled this guy out. 
It's so cute. I love it. And like, oh my gosh. Look at these shades. Oh my goodness. Look. They're so gorgeous. I love it. Frosting, safe word, charm, deja vu, deja vu. Sorry, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to be funny. It clearly didn't work. Sorry. Um, then we have dominatrix, androgyny, which was also the lip I just tried, um, fetish, military, poison, and swallow. And I do love these colors. Like, I don't know how often I would use a lot of them, but I actually think you could use like poison and swallow really well and frosting. Like a lot of them are really cute. So let's go ahead and swatch. I'm just gonna swatch them on this hand and I will probably just insert a picture because that's sometimes easier. Um, so let's get into this. Let's go with frosting first. I always love swatching the Jeffree shades because they honestly, actually, they honestly feel like butter. So I might not be, you might not be able to see very well on my wrist. So I'll probably just having to insert a picture. So let's go with, sorry. The movie just ended. So what movie should I check out now, guys? Let's do watch list. What's on my watch list? I got a lot. Who remembers the 13th year? Sorry, I'm on Disney Plus, like I had said at the beginning of this video. I'm on Disney Plus and I'm like legit into it again. So I'm actually gonna click on the 13th year. I love this. I remember thinking, how cool would that be to find out that you're a mermaid? Um, granted, it looked a lot harder in the movie than it probably, and it looked a little bit more like realistically hard, you know, when you're a teenager, so. Anyways, let's get into this. Woo! So we're gonna, yeah, that like legit feels like freaking butter on my hand. Like, I don't, obviously that doesn't swatch well. It doesn't focus, but this guy looks awesome. Woo! That is solid and soft. Now we're gonna go in with safe word. Seriously, these all feel like butter. So this one, I'm only doing this again because I really want to show up. This reminds me of that Soothe in Tati's palette, but honestly, the sounds not, I'm not shading, I'm not throwing any shade to Tati, nothing at all. I love both palettes, I love Jeffree Star palettes, and I also love the Tati palette, but honestly, Safe Word is kind of like that light Soothe that we saw, and this is a lot smoother. <laughs> um, just being 100% honest, um, and then this is Charm, now I'm going with Charm, this is such an interesting, it's like a, like a dusty orange, I think. And now we go in with Deja Vu. Ooh, sorry. I sometimes double pick, not because it's not pigmented, because if you've ever used Jeffree products, you know they are pigmented the house. And I am, yes, I quoted Rich Lux again. I told you, I've been watching a lot of drama channels and sometimes their sayings, I'm gonna like, start saying them because they're so iconic. <laughs> like seriously, like when you think drama channels, you think Rich Lux, you think Tea Spill, like, or Spill Sash, like, is it Spill Sash? I think, it, see, I need to, I need to get better at knowing the drama channels. And then we're gonna go in now again with Dominatrix. Ooh, that's good. Androgyny. Like, I think androgyny is supposed to be like a purple, I believe. Um, ooh, fetish is good. It's like a red. Ooh, damn, Jeffrey, Dom. And military. I, I do like the military shade. I don't think I'd ever personally use it. It just looks like, it just looks very interesting to me, um, is all I can say. Looks very, very interesting. It's, I mean, it's a lovely, like, it is a nice green, it's a good military green, but you'll see when I put the swatch up, it's just like, it doesn't fit me. Like, my skin tone, I feel like it would, I'm gonna try to see if my friend Maggie, when I see her at Christmas, if she wants to do some fun makeup, and I'm gonna take this palette and see how it looks on her compared to me, because Maggie is more pale than I am. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting. Now we're gonna go in with Poison. I gotta 
probably say we're gonna go in with, like I'm more than one person, and then Swallow. Honestly, these all have felt like freaking butter on my fingers. So it's really hard for me to like, when I swatch other brands to not be like, these don't feel like butter. These, they're not as soft and they are like pigmented the house. See, another Rich Lux one, another Rich Lux impression. I can't help it, okay? Um, so yeah, let me show you. I'm so excited for you to see the swatches. All these shades are pigmented. I am gonna have to come up with like a look for all of these. Sorry, makeup wipe again. But honestly, I do love like all of these pigments. Like they are just fantastic. I'm just, oh, the last little bit is just honestly just a bunch of fun stuff. So I recently went about last weekend to get my eyebrows done because girl, Y'all, these were busted. Eyebrows done. I go to my favorite place. It's called Bear. Um, Bear Wax and Skin. And they were having a little sale. So here's Bear Wax the bag. I love it. Um, I also got to do an under eye treatment. And that was fun. But I got one of these amazing little glasses. That's like, it's a wine glass. And it's like one of those flexible ones. And it says, Barely Sober. I don't drink. But I was like, you know, some hard cider in here with one of my metal, with one of my metal straws. Like, I'll be rocking this Christmas break coming up. Two Go Spa is the brand, and um, this one is the Gold Eyes, 24 karat nano gold to reverse the signs of aging and leaves eyes luminous. And then I also got the Pomegranate Eyes, which is the anti-aging one, which these are cute. And the Pomegranate is Pomegranate extract and. Re Reservatol Troll to reveal younger eyes. Then I got two of the green tea ones, which these are my favorite. These are what they first did on me and they, I was immensely like, yes, please. And then here is the S Silver Eye Sparkle Mask. This guy is just like gorgeous. It has silver powder to promote wrinkle reduction and overall skin health. That sounds pretty cool. And you leave these on for 15 to 20 minutes. So this is one that I'm excited to try. It's the Coconut Lips. So it's the Lips by To Go Spa. And it's Coconut Lips and it is supposed to have replenish and moisturize your lips. Which being in Montana, it's so dry. And then going back to Idaho, like I might have to save this for Idaho, after Idaho. But it's pretty much, it's this guy. And it's really funny, I've seen um, my esthetician actually put a pic, she took a picture of herself and it was really cute, but like it went like all over your lips, so it's like all around here. I will post a picture of it when I use it because I have a feeling it's gonna be very laughable. But those are those. Anyways, I'm gonna head out. Um, I'm, want, I'm gonna try to edit this pretty soon. And then, sorry, you saw one of all the dust particles in this house. I'm gonna start cleaning because my dad is coming and I want it to at least look decent when he visits. All right, peace guys. By the way, were any of you, when you were younger and watched The Hunchback of Notre Dame, did you ever, th am I the only one that thought the priest, I think it's Rolo, or I don't, maybe that's the wrong name. But you know, the priest, like, Quasimodo's, like, keeper or whatever. Did anyone else think, like, he was creepy as AF, man. He was so creepy. And I was just like, it's like, and he's always like, why do, why do, why do I like her? And why doesn't she love me? It's like, dude, you're creepy as hell. Like, that's why no one, why she doesn't like you.